All right, guys, I'm going to get into what's going on this week with the game Marvel's Avengers. This is our unofficial war table for this week. So without further ado, click a look aloud. Okay, so if you are following along, um, we had two people from Crystal Dynamics do a stream. And in that stream, one of the things they mentioned is to do more streams um, every week if everything was perfect, but at least once a month. Just in general, just wanting to stream and com you know communicate and, and play the game with their fan base. Um, there is a war table. I believe that's what they call them, War Table, which is basically their state of the game or their um, conversation with us as the fan, as the community, to let us know what's going on with the game, what's coming out, and things of that nature. And I believe they're still finding their voice as now the format they were using needs to change because you're not hyping the game up for launch. You're, let's be honest, you're doing some crowd control right now. If you just type in and Google Marvel's Avengers Game, give or take what your browser is going to pop up because a few of them will be different. For, for the most part, your articles that you're going to get, if you click the news tab, is going to be unflattering things about this game from whether it's the biggest name I'll say are two of them is C, CBR and the Washington Post. You also have Forbes that said something um, earlier before that. But for the most part, it's getting to the, to the point where a lot of YouTube content creators and streamers um, you have a lot of people who play the game on major websites for news, for actual news, not just gaming. And they're now talking about, you know, how lackluster this game is. And again, I was hyped for this game. I still play the game. Um, I did a video not too long ago saying if you're new, do not buy this game. But if you're here, let's try to make the best of it, okay? And one of the things I said is we need to have these war tables it could be war table wednesday midday let's communicate let's figure some stuff out so this week i'm gonna let you know what's going on with the marvel's avengers game so we're not here to talk about whether or not um this title might be too big for crystal dynamics um i think we have this game and let's 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 try to make it better as a community let's constructive feedback towards everybody involved so this week we have um just the downloadable contents which was supposed to have kate and the second half which is supposed to have hawkeye has been pushed back um you also have the next gen upgraded version of this game this is delayed and pushed back to 2021 as they work out um, bugs or the flow of things or maybe that's the real significant push to um, basically make this maybe Marvel's game 2.0. That'd be a chance for them to do that. And um, they kind of confirmed that they're not really focusing or doing any PVP um, as of right now. And I think that's probably one of the, the issues with the game is a lot of people who play the game do not necessarily know what this game is supposed to be. And so we're all kind of asking for it to be the game we envision. Um, I actually had some time to go through and watch a lot of videos from some YouTubers who are, you know, given their opinion as well. Let's all be community managers and kind of throw our names out there and, and try to make sure our community is, I don't know, still playing the game and still giving feedback, whether good or bad, in the same sense, um, just conversating, just having a real conversation. And some of the ones I have was, um, I could be wrong on how I'm saying these names, but Craze Gaming, uh, Lejeune, um, Laud Valad, if I'm saying that correct, Assemble Podcast, um, Young Ripper 59. Those are videos I watched where a lot of them had a video on there where they were talking about what they could change to the game. And I think it's cool to have these conversations. It'd be really cool to have a um, maybe a panel with everybody together and this just makes the game better. You also have Reddit as well and Twitter and things of that nature. But to, to put it out there and maybe make it where we're as a community one voice handing this off to the community managers, that would be awesome. Um, 
some of the other things this week that were brought up is the button puzzles, you know, to get inside some of these chests that you would, you know, hit or step on something at a certain time frame to open up the door for the safe, for the, the strong boxes. They were asking if we had any other ideas and what we would like to do um, that we could do something. So if you have that, you can put that on the Reddit, the official Reddit site for them. Halloween, a Halloween event. There's no information on a Halloween event, which is unfortunate because it's a perfect time to come up with um, whether new skins or I wouldn't say a new play mode, but just just new skins in general or just even a look that's differently when you log in. Um, I don't think there's going to be anything. It's just kind of short notice. They also said there was a bug that they're working on for PlayStation 4 for the trophies. And it's uh, Andy's birthday, Andy Wong, who should be, the, I believe he's the head of the uh, social media for this game. And uh, it's his birthday, so happy birthday to him. And the last note that I have before I let you guys go, if you wanted to partake in a Q&A with the head of the studio, Scott Amos, if I'm saying his name um, correctly, it will be this Friday, October 23rd. And as of right now, I believe it's only on Twitter. I don't know if Reddit allows it to do it. It should. They should hopefully have a link that does that as well. Um, who's done this recently? 2K did it with WWE as they were having issues with the last generation and they're trying to reboot and do things differently so this could this any feedback any communication is a win for the community so once again this friday october 23rd this will be so dated after the 23rd but scott amos q a you type in a question or several questions if you have it there's no rules here and i believe him and his team are going to work to get to answering as many as they can um, I don't know when they answer it. I'm assuming it'll be that Friday, and I'm assuming it's just on Twitter. But anywho, that is all I have for the war table for this week. I hope to go ahead and do something like this again next week. And until then, you guys have a great day or night or evening. I still can't figure out how to do a greeting. Kalikalikalau.